Last episode, uh, the two were held against gunpoint by Jimmy Stewart. Now listen here. You two guys are totally out of line. I'm being very serious here, and so is Harvey. Oh, oh no, not Harvey, the giant rabbit. Oh, yeah, that Harvey, that Harvey, the Harvey. Oh, suckering succotash, Abbott. It's the Harvey, it's the Harvey, you know, the, the invisible rabbit. And oh, 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 geez. Now listen here, Glenn Farfinger. A lot of you see in this universe is fictitious. Oh, no it isn't. It's very real. No, it isn't. It's very, very, very fictitious. <coughs> so... <coughs> but, so listen here. It's very easy to... Get hit, get get that gun away from him. Oh, I why? Uh, wh what are we gonna do? Uh, I, uh, Jimmy Stewart, what's your demand? M my demands are, uh, 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 uh Abbott, I don't think he knows. I tried to tell you, he's. Uh, it's probably because Doc Milo is writing the stuff for him, so it has to come in as it goes. Uh, okay, so watch this. Oh, listen here. Uh, uh, listen here, Jimmy Stewart. Uh, look over there. Oh, what? Oh, what is over there? Oh, uh, what is it? Uh, he drops the gun. Uh, 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 hey, uh, uh, you made me drop my gun. Uh, uh, yeah, that's not right. Uh, I challenge you, that lumberjack over there, to uh, to mutual combat. Uh, oh, oh, so, so, Mr. Jimmy Stewart, you want a big, good wrestling match, huh? It's just a good old slobber knocker, huh? Okay. And then, uh, uh, then uh, Glenn Farfinger, you know, gets backdropped by Jimmy Stewart. Ow! No! 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 And then Jimmy Stewart puts him in a headlock. Then he, he gets put in a headlock by Jimmy Stewart. And then, uh, <clears throat> and then, uh, then of course, uh, uh, Glenn Farfinger starts to struggle. Get a, gets up and elbows him three times in the stomach and. No, oh, oh, that's terrible. That should be illegal. Ow, 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 ow. And then uh, he breaks the headlock. He breaks the headlock and throws him into the ropes. Is there ropes around here? I, whatever. Uh, he throws him into the ropes, and then he, he gives him a lariat. And, ow! Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 okay. What, what's going on here? <laughs> Then Glenn Farfinger drops, drop kicks uh, Jimmy Stewart, and you know, oh, wow, what's going on? And, but then Jimmy Stewart grabs some dirt, throws it in Glenn Farfinger's face. Ha ha! And then, and then uh, Jimmy Stewart uh, spears uh, uh, Glenn Farfinger. Yeah, what do you mean? Oh, there's soccer and soccer test. No, he, he hit a spear, a spear. Uh, Oh, crikey, that's not going to feel good in the morning. Oh. And, and uh, then, of course, uh, oh, then, uh, uh, um, oh, did you lose your trade of thought, narrator? I kind of did. Well, yes, because you, you know, you, you're just trying to get this over with, so, uh. Uh, whatever. Uh, um, eventually, um, eventually, Glenn Farfinger he puts uh, Jimmy into a sleeper hold and wins the match. Well, well, that's it. Uh, Jimmy Stewart's knocked out. He's he's out. Um, so I'm taking I'm taking. We're going to find out what happens next episode. You know. Yes, I suggest you just go play a video game for a bit, you know, entertain the people at home and 
And uh, that's it, you know, we were able to buy some time. <laughs> Yeah, I hate these episodes when they're not. There's not a lot written, you know. Yes, it's it's kind of just sort of written on, you know, whatever, you know. And yeah, you know, I, I, it's it's things where it's improvised because it, it sometimes you get it and sometimes you don't. You sometimes you have it and sometimes you don't. You do, you do. Yeah. Oh, but when you don't, <laughs> oh, he did it again. Oh. Okay, let's get to the game. So we are going to see a dragon jump. Well, we, we've been kind of building up. Oh, there he is, there he is. Well, that's that's a little bit from last episode, Joe. Well, it's going to happen, but unfortunately, like I said, the game keeps throwing a lot of weak enemies at us. It's, it's trying to stop us. And and it, it is actually doing a lot of damage to us. I don't know. It's I don't know. And then it, and then it, and then there's this inventory management shit. I I really don't like the inventory management, Joe. Now there he is. There's the dragon. Now we are going. Now we are going to try to use some sneak try to hide ourselves and you can see it's kind of like Skyrim with the hiding we're going to try to kind of like use this rock and hide now come on game game game's really being stupid We got to glitch through this. You know, it's generally stupid Skyrim here. So, there's an issue here. This dragon is got two NPCs right in front of him. Now, you'd go, why is he not attacking the NPCs? I mean, literally, he's sitting right in front of a bunch of NPCs. And... What the heck? Okay, yeah, well, bye. <laughs> well, we got our dragon for the show. That was the show. He's going over there now. We're... But look! Yay! Yeah, yeah, hey, you too! Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, they're just like... Yeah, they're, 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 that was uh, a dragon. They're, they're, they're just sort of like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, they don't bother us. They're just very big pests, and it's just like the people in Thailand. Like they literally have cobras sneaking sneaking in their house, and they're just like whatever. They're pests, whatever. And it's like, yeah, but they kind of can kill you. And then uh, I kind of had a dream with some of these things. It kept turning into werewolves. It was kind of weird. So yeah, so a terror bird. Oh uh, yeah, I can imagine. So now we're patient again. We're patient again. We feel better. We we seen our dragon. We don't have to be like mad at the minor enemies because they're just doing their job. You know, we were sort of like stop stop stopping the content. We want to see the big dragon. He's a big dragon. He's a big sucker. So uh or Delphi, he's a big bastard. And it sounds like a, I don't know. That sounded kind of like Big Daddy or something. I don't know. She Delphine has problems. Okay, so attack this terror bird. You know, pretty weak, weak sauce. And uh, this is uh, oh, there's a dragon again. Oh my goodness, he's flying right over us. Oh my goodness gracious. Hey, yeah, really big dragon. Wow, oh, Joe, that's... I don't know, man. I, I like looking at him, but... Man, I don't know we can... And then, of course, the harpies pop out of nowhere. We would happy if we just, like, walked away from them. Well, then they keep hitting us. I don't know if they would keep following us for very long. Most MMOs are like that, where, you know, but... Yeah, see, the dragon, he keeps going over there. I, I kind of admit I don't really want to fight him. 
Because it's like, you know, we would just end up dying, you know. Probably because you need to be a lot more leveled up than that. And... But the harpies are starting to become annoying because there's too many of them. You know, and you're trying to, you're trying to get over there to to those harpies, you know, the, to the dragon, so you could go watch the dragon because he's really entertaining. I, we're we're kind of done. We're we we we've, we've seen him. We can't really fight him, you know. So we we've gotten our content out of him. Because otherwise, we're just going to get annoyed by all the harpies, and the harpies are ruining the game. So. We'll just go back to doing the core content of the game and stuff. And if well, we're we're back to fighting the skeletons and back to fighting the uh, back to fighting the uh, zombies. Probably you know they're probably over here. I'm gonna head back towards the uh, town. And thank you for taking out my kill. <laughs> that's a, that's always the thing that always got me about playing these games. Like, some people don't, like, they don't mind if you help them with an enemy, even though they can handle it. But then they get, some get mad because they think you're trying to steal their kill or something, you know, steal their experience or something. I don't know. There isn't really mics in this game. I've never heard someone yell at you or something. I think it's because in the back in the old days, you know, you know, they just used chat rooms for MMOs and then I I think corporations had such a negative experience with uh such a negative experience with, you know, you know, you know, voice chat and stuff, you know, that, you know, they now they, you can do it, but they don't push it on you and they don't really include mics with things and they make it very easy to mute everything. And, uh, you know, and you will notice, you will notice, I, I do not notice voice chat within even in multiplayer games very much. It's very rare. Now, if you play something like Team Fortress 2, yeah, you might run into that. And some people get mad if you don't have, like, mics. They don't think you're being a good team member. It's like, I I just don't care. <laughs> I don't really want to... You know, I'm anti-social. I don't, we're anti-social here at Saturn Grad. We don't really want to bother. So... Well, this is one of the f first times, actually, we've ever done the, the gameplay first before we do the intro. You know, we I after the last episode, I, I was like, well, I want to see the dragon. I want to see the dragon. I want to comment with the dragon. I have ideas. And it's like, then it ended. And I was like, nah, let's just go right to the gameplay for the next episode because I got it in my system. Because I got, I, I, I see in my head what I want to say and stuff. And, that is an advantage of, you know, recording your, your commentary afterwards is, um, I don't know, you can cook stuff. Of course, you could do that in, you know, Skyrim, but I mean, I we don't got the ingredients right now. That's salt strice. I, now, like, uh, when I was in the Daggerfall region, I can remember having lots of that. But then also this Soltrice was in uh, Skyrim as well and um, Oblivion. Yeah, that was in there too. And you know, I think you were really commentating towards yourself. You got two Glenn Farfinger. Uh, well, it's yeah. Uh, well, Joe, I uh, sometimes there's a, there's like two of us in the world. You know, there's more than one Glenn Farfinger in the world. <clears throat> These 20 minute episodes, you know, I mean, I know a person said all oh, 20 minutes isn't hard to commentate over, but, you know, when you're doing like, you know, you need to understand, like, for example, we did, you know, with Four Finger Gaming, there's an episode 
uh, every Saturday. So, we had just gotten done with all the episodes every Saturday for March 2024. So, what that means is there was about five Saturdays in that month. That's just the way it is. Five Saturdays, five five dollar foot long, you know. So, you know that's a lot, you know. And you know, at first when you did it, you know, like you haven't done it in like a few days. When you first do that kind of session, it's like easy, you know, and it's like no big deal. That was easy. That was good. I uh, I like to see what you think after the like the the fifth or sixth episode. <laughs> you start to go. It starts to turn into torture, because <laughs> really that's when you realize that, you know, you know, believe it or not, a lot of people like to say, and they, the one of the biggest bullshits in my entire life, is people will say how fast time goes. I like to want to know what you were doing to make time go fast, because it's actually, I think what it is is, it. Time goes fast when you're not thinking about anything. You're very when the more dimmer you are, this this like that generally more when you have a low IQ moment. And there's got to be moments in your life where there's low IQ. I mean, you can't be like highbrow every single minute. You know, like you know you're you're studying, you know, listening to Harvard lectures or something. You know, there's got to be moments where you're just like, oh, I really like the shiny thing. <laughs> You know what I mean? So, you know, that's when I think time goes by fast because you're not even paying attention to anything. But when you're doing gameplay like this, you're looking constantly at that clock. Really just a minute went by. And you you know, like, time actually can go very slow when you're focusing very hard on every second and every minute. Like, everything is about time, you know? I always used to hear that about that about like, oh, s s sneaky snake there. Uh, Starting to get tired. <laughs> I I don't really want to commentate anymore, but yeah, but it's like, uh, yeah, I should train it for it, man. <laughs> well, that's just what happened. Yeah. No, I'm just saying is like right now doing 20 minutes like this after like so. Oh, not these things again. I can't. I can't look at these things anymore. These Dune Rippers. Why do they take so long? Like especially after we were hunting for that dragon. Like these guys kept coming up to us, and it, I was just like getting angry about it, and I was getting like. You know, in the past, you you were showing me past episodes of the of these freighter shows, and there was just whole episodes where he would just stop commentating after halfway through. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. He used to do that. I uh, like, like he, j yeah, he has an attitude. You know, he he's kind of like, well, you know what it is, Joe, and he kind of said he says the bread and butter of the Saturn Grad Productions is the intro it's not it's the monologue it's he said he kind of equated to this he said he said at one point in time you know especially before colbert stephen colbert took over and ruined late night tv and then um kimmel you know there's kimmel and there was uh fallon and he says fallon just laughs at everything and he he does he kind of likes fallon a little way but he says that he doesn't watch fallon you know he said i was never a tonight show person i was always a a late night with david letterman person and i the late show or whatever you know I, even though letterman was not as funny you know in the later years you know he said i still was kind of loyal to david letterman and he said that one thing, though, and he said every summer as a kid, you know, as a teenager and stuff, I, I used to watch the late night with David Letterman. Late show with the late show with David Letterman. It was in the 90s. And he said. 
the thing was, is he said, is there was the monologue. And it was always the monologue you wanted to watch. And then, you know, a lot of times, sometimes when they were feeling really frisky, they would do a little skit or they would go outside and start visiting the neighbors in the neighborhood. And it was kind of interesting and fun. And it was just sort of like IRL before there was IRL. And, and it was fun. It was just fun. You know, what? it's good old fun. And he said, but then, then the, 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 the later half of the show is all just, you know, them talking to celebrities and it's boring. He said it, it's, it would just, they would be talking about taking an airplane flight or a lot of the stuff you couldn't relate with being a normal human being, you know, at the time, you know, like if you're not dealing with the entertainment industry like them and stuff, it's really, it's sort of like, you know, most of the time, you know, it was just people wanting to listen if they're, they're interested in a certain movie. And in the 90s, there's a lot of movies people like, but there was a lot of movies that we didn't give a crap about. You know, it was kind of like, well, we won Star Wars. And, you know, of course, by the time it did actually happen, it was kind of like, uh, it was those prequels. But um, he said, though, with Saturn Ground Productions, it's all about the monologue. The games don't mean anything. They, I, uh, because I, he said he generally has the argument that there's like, uh, well, we just got whacked there <laughs> some two just like came up and literally just just wrecked us almost uh, these these crazy magicians here so so yeah so basically what it is 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 that uh i don't know why we're hanging around there too because there's like enemies attacking and we're still getting attacked you know so really what it is it's the monologue it's it's the interview it's the intros with us doing the storylines the bits the all that stuff that's the fun stuff this is why what keep us going unfortunately Saturn uh, freighter said is he freight uh, we uh, uh, see he said, "Yeah, you know, I don't. We're we we've been doing too much commentary. We're starting to get tired." So he said, "Yeah, you know, like look, you know, it would be probably a better world for us if we just stopped playing the games and just did these like silly bits. But then, but then we couldn't. You know, then we would have to, you know, change how we, you know." people find these episodes and he says do understand though there's still a part of himself and you know all these other guys that you know that they they we still like our games we do and it wouldn't be the same without some gameplay footage the problem is 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 trying to keep talking 20 minutes straight it's very hard so a lot of times it's good, like this is right fine right here because we're talking about something else. But it's hard when you're trying to stay in the moment, and you're like, oh, we're walking around, you know, where you know, and you know, you can imagine how hot it must be in this part of the world, and <laughs> like you know, after a while, it's just kind of like, well, you know, I just came to a realization, Joe. Where are you with it? That was a horse icon there. I think that really is our horse. I didn't even know we had a horse. Are you serious? I think that we actually do have a horse. I, mean, I don't know. Oh, it's this guy. It's the kitty. He's always worried for us. He's like, what's the problem? Are you you're not commentating over our game enough? I mean... Well, sit down, sit down. You you need to have to relax a little bit. I got some Hagen Dodge ice cream here. There you go. You start eating it. What can we do? Like uh, help you out with your commentary of our game? Yeah, he's really concerned. He's very concerned. He's like, 
he's like saying, you know, you know, you, you commentate way too much in these games. You need to kind of calm down. Or you need to maybe do like maybe three or four. You're used to do four episodes in a recording session. Why are you doing now a six episode? That's a bit abusive, you know? That's kind of hard on your voice. You got to do all those voices. And yeah, he's like, what is your problem? What is your mental capacity? <laughs> For Joe, he's a nice kitty. He doesn't talk like that. <laughs> he doesn't talk like that. He's a nice kitty. He's just trying to do the best he can, make a living, and we're 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 buying stuff. We bought like lock picks from him. We sold a ton of stuff to him. You know, yeah. these guys. You you know, after a while, you kind of be like, you know, you you know, I'm buying all this stuff from you, but you're not actually like buying stuff from me. It's kind. Of Kind of, you know, kind of hurts, you know. You know, I'm not making really a profit here. I Hopefully I can sell this useless scraps of uh, leather that you can actually find in most of the world here. I mean, I don't know what's your uh, problem. I, uh, I hope I don't have to beat you up. <laughs> hey, I thought you said he was a nice kitty. He, he's kind of getting aggressive now. Well, Joe, he is probably getting a little mad because we're not buying anything. We're just selling him stuff. And you understand, wow! <laughs> oh my goodness! That's a really scary cat. That's a scary kitty. <laughs> we're being a little rough now on this game. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much the end of the show, guys. Uh, we we're going to do other stuff after this one. Uh, we did a couple episodes of ESO. You know, we hadn't done that one in a long time. So, oh, it's just, uh, let's see. Yeah. Goodbye.